I'm Jeff Groff, Winter Tours at State Historia, and today I'm going to tell you about another one of the sort of indoor-outdoor spaces that Henry Francis DuPont created when he expanded his house from 1929 to 1930. This space was often identified uh, on the plans as the loggia, and it really was open to the, the outdoors. There were a variety of steps that led down on to the lawn of the East Terrace. But the space itself was really uh, quite 1930s. It probably would have been described as very chic at that time period. The floor was this checkerboard pattern slate. Uh, around the room at that time were a variety of blue painted Chinese Chippendale wrought iron chairs, bamboo furniture, and then it was banked in many of the different corners and spaces with beautiful uh, colored uh, flowers, shrubs, things like that that have helped HF sort of make his space for his house guests to enjoy a, a game of uh, backgammon or bridge or just relax. And then out of doors, we had uh, this area with wide steps and more tables set up, uh, an umbrella to shield people from the sun, but uh, guests could easily move back and forth in and out of the room. This was also close to uh, some areas where refreshments could be brought out. And on the floor plan, it even shows just nearby here an ice cream room, which I think was a freezer room where sort of frozen ice cream and other treats could be kept. But in 1949, it really changed. H.F. DuPont had been considering when he was going to change over his house to become a museum and decided pretty much it was getting time to go ahead on that plan. He'd already in the late 30s been taking out servant rooms, turning them into display spaces. And so for this area, he created a hall of statues. He'd been collecting some wonderful uh, early 19th century American wooden statues, painted white to look like marble or stone. Many of them sort of with patriotic themes, eagles, George Washington, uh, things like that. And so he closes in the area, puts glass into the windows to protect the statues, removes that sort of uh, outdoor furniture to other parts of the terrace and property, and then starts including a number of, I guess I call them country style pieces of furniture. There are wonderful ladder back chairs, there's a settle uh, behind that, and then on the table itself, uh, pieces of American redware. When I look at this, it's very reminiscent to me of what he had been doing in his summer house in Southampton Long, on Long Island in the 1920s, uh, very much interested in more what we might consider country or folk pieces. Above that settle is this very large coach uh, builder's shop sign or trade sign, again, a very colorful accent to the area. In 1973, Jane Lunger, who was a cousin of H.F. DuPont's, gave to the Winter Tour Museum a wonderful collection of glass flats, historical flats. In 1975, shelves were created in different window openings, and those flats were installed, where visitors can still enjoy them today. I think one of the things about this space that is so interesting is it not only shows uh, this wonderful arrangement that H.F. DuPont did, but how over the years he was transforming some of the areas uh, as his ideas for the house and then the museum evolved. I hope you enjoyed hearing about the Hall of Statues.